Simon County has number two story. Tonight's words of the president in the world. The bronze to Lou Dobbs of CNN, whose craziness seems to be impacted by the phases of the moon. Now defending Glenn Beck's description of the president as racist with a deep-seated hatred of white people, defending Beck's campaign against Van Jones because Van Jones had four years ago founded the organization whose protest has now stripped 62 advertisers from Beck's show. I didn't hear Howard Dean get excited about that, trampling all over the First Amendment, trying to coerce sponsors of Glenn Beck just because he had the guts to say what he meant. You know, there's a shortage of that. I thought to be encouraged. Never mind the inanity of defending Beck's right to say something outrageous, even psychotic, rather than defending the public's right to protest an irresponsible broadcaster. Jesus, Lou, how long have you lived in this country? You still don't know that there is no First Amendment right protecting you against backlash by viewers or sponsors or anybody except backlash from the government? I promise we'll get Lou up to speed on broadcasting and how it has nothing to do with the First Amendment, and soon he's only been doing this 39 years. A runners-up, the host of Cluster Fox and Friends, right into the Republican talking points this morning in defense of Congressman Shoutout. And wow, are those talking points thin on the ground. Brian Kilmeade, didn't Pelosi, the Speaker, call CIA a bunch of liars? Steve Ducey, but when House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called the CIA liars and Congress called President Bush a liar, weren't there outrage there? Yes, plenty. Most of it by you charlatans. You left out Dixie Chicks. You buffoons started a blacklist at a musical group for being critical of the president while they were in London. Wilson interrupted this president in his audition as a real man of genius. Somebody had done that to Bush. You meat puppets would have called for human sacrifice. But our winner, Sean Hannity. This one defies belief, as Hannity apparently defies medication. And without competition, the price of insurance goes up and quality goes down. And it makes it easier for insurance companies to treat their customers badly by cherry-picking the healthiest individuals and trying to drop the sickest, by overcharging small businesses who have no leverage, and by jacking up rates. Insurance executives don't do this because they're bad people. They do it because it's profitable. Insurance executives don't do this because they're bad people. They do it because it's profitable. So Hannity's response, I hope you're sitting down. When he said tonight that insurance executives are bad people, I, it took me back because it was so harsh and I think unfair, but it's part of their polling. Took me a back. A back is the word, Sean. Obama says insurance executives aren't bad people. Hannity says he said tonight that insurance executives are bad people. If you ever need a Fox News bald face lie for argument or debate, use this one. Wednesday, September 9th, 2009. Insurance executives don't do this because they're bad people. They do it because it's profitable. He said tonight that insurance executives are bad people. Sean Hannity, today's worst person in the world, or as he might say tomorrow, Keith Olbermann called me the best person in the universe.